<laughs> hey guys, thanks for having me come out. Um, you know, I just wanted to reiterate what they said. Um, you know, this is the best time in your life to enjoy an active lifestyle. You have all the free time in the world. I know they make you go to school as well, but trust me, there's, there's no more free time than when you're a kid. And I really enjoyed growing up. Um, you know, I would encourage you guys to try Try all the sports, see what you're good at, see what you're not as good at, and, and challenge yourself to, to try everything because there will come a point when you're either a teenager or you're in your 20s where it's not an option to go out and throw football around with your buddies. It's not an option to go learn how to swim. It's not an option to go, um, I don't know, play soccer with your friends because you're going to have real life obligations. And, I just, um, you know, I look back and I don't have any regrets because I tried everything and I wasn't good at a lot of things. I was the worst football player. Um, I wasn't good at tennis, but I had fun trying and, you know, you have friends your age and it's a good time to, you know, teamwork and being on a team, it's a great way to develop relationships and you learn um, people skills that will carry you forward. Like, um, like they were saying before me, you learn how to work with people and be on a team and those are skills that apply even after sports. They apply in, in the workplace, they apply in college, and those are all things that you can learn through sports and through an active lifestyle. With that, I'd like to add, it's very important even for me at my age to, to get your sleep, to eat right, to, to just be healthy outside of just the hour or two you play each day. So that's something that's very important in my profession, and you know your habits start now when you're young. So uh, get your sleep, um, you know, make sure you get a little work in each day, get outside, sweat, have fun with your friends. And um, I really like what they talked about, about the doors that um, sports can open for you. I didn't, I've been to countries, I've met people that I never thought I would have when I first started playing basketball. But, um, you know, I see my man with the basketball right here. That can open a lot of doors for you, just like an instrument can, just like any, any sport can. But... Um, you know, like when I was your guys' age, I didn't know where Dubai was. I've been to Dubai, I've been to China, I've been to Spain, I've met the president. Um, you know, all things that you just, that just come with, um, you know, finding a passion. And like I said, it doesn't have to be sports, but if it's an instrument or school or whatever it is, but um, if you find something and you fall in love with it, I would just encourage you to pursue that. And, and the reason I say try everything at your age is because you may not know what it is yet, and that's okay. But, you know, you try different things and you might latch on to something and really, um, you know, put everything you have into that. Put your, your work into that, your passion, your emotion into whatever it is, and it can take you places. So, um, you know, like, like they said, on behalf of the Brooklyn Nets, I just want to encourage you guys and on behalf of Coca-Cola to uh, find your passion and pursue it and live a healthy lifestyle while doing it. I have two brothers, neither of them are twins, but I actually I play my older brother tomorrow. I went to Duke University in North Carolina. So. Who's my brother? Miles Plumley. He plays for Milwaukee. Go ahead, in the back? No? Go ahead. Don't be shy. Oh, okay. Transition from college to pros is tough. You know, you play about 30 games in college. You play 82 in the pros. Um, then also you have a lot of downtime. Um, you had to go to class in college and pros. You go to the practice facility. You might be there three, four hours, but then you have the rest of your day. Um, but, you know, I would just say the length of the season is tough. And then also, um, you don't really have as many obligations outside of uh, the court. How many points are we game? Right now, like 10. Not enough, I'll tell you that. When you were around their age, how was the, um, the balance between, like, having your friends, yeah. playing your sport, and then doing your work too? Like, how did that all work out? So the great thing about having friends is the connection between friends and sport and activities, all that's grouped together. Now friends and homework, you have to figure out which friends you can study with and get your work done and which ones you can't. But for me, uh, all my friends, we could go and have fun and play sports regardless of what it was. So I always liked, I, you know, I, I was never, I didn't just go outside and run on the track for fun. That's not fun to me. I wanted to find something where 
it was a ball and we were all playing together. There was some competition aspect and that's what I enjoyed. Um, but as far as school, you can't have, and matter of fact, my parents, they wouldn't let me go and play with my friends if my work wasn't done. So school is always the priority and all the opportunity that they talked about sports, um, all the doors that can open, none of that will happen if you don't get your school work taken care of first. So if your grades aren't right, um, it doesn't matter how good you are at a sport. I had a, a lot of people in my high school class that were far better players than I am, way more talented, but they're not in the NBA today because they couldn't even get into college um, because they didn't take care of their schoolwork. So never forget the priorities. How much, how much, how much free time do you get? Now? Yeah. Um, we get a fair amount. It's a lot, of, a lot of travel time, I would say. Like we just came off a week trip. Um, we went to Miami. Philly, Minnesota, and Cleveland, but a lot of time on the on the plane and a lot of time on buses. Are you Milwaukee Yeah, we played Milwaukee tomorrow night. Who's your favorite teammate? My favorite teammate? Um, well, it was, it was Kevin Garnett before he got traded. He's a great teammate, and he's an older guy who's done a lot in the NBA, and he had a lot of um, good advice, but I would say now it's the younger guys on the team, Markel Brown, Jerome Jordan, Corey Joseph, Corey Jefferson, I'm sorry. Uh, when you were our age, how many days did you practice? Um, to me, it was just like an everyday thing. There's an, I'm from Indiana, so there's not as much to do in Indiana as there is in New York, but, um, you know, we would just, we had a hoop outside and me and my friends would go and play. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I like it here better though. I think the Warriors are going to win the West. Who was your basketball idol? Idol? Um, you know, I was, when I was a kid, Michael Jordan was dominating the league. So everybody was a big Michael Jordan fan. But, um, you know, I rooted for the underdogs. So, like, when they're in the finals with the Jazz, I'll pull for Carl Malone and John Stockton. And guys but MJ never let it happen. When was the first time you decided you wanted to be a basketball player? Um, I just always played for fun and then the more I watched I saw um, I watched the NBA and I realized that it could be a real job someday so I would say when I was in high school I, I really set my sights on becoming an NBA player. I already got you. Let me get some. Yeah. What is the most part of preparation? Preparation? I would say taking care of your body. Um, and a lot of that goes into getting sleep, eating right, um, lifting throughout the season, just staying injury free because 82 games is a long season. And then, um, you know, hopefully you want to play in the playoffs too. So you just have to um, stay fresh throughout. All right, guys, let's do two more questions, okay? My sneaker size is 18. <laughs> Did anybody have I got? Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, I have. I've been injured. I broke my wrist in college, but that was it. My last question, guys. Um, I'll say sophomore year high school. Yeah. You guys, are, you all still have hope. Well, last. He said, how did it feel to be invited to the slam dunk contest? It was fun, but I was in over my head. I <laughs> the other kid was so good. He deserved to win. He did a great job for Minnesota. Yeah. All right.